Well, I've been asked to pray for the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, uh, which is a big prayer. Um, and given that it's an institution, um, I wanted to pray from Psalm 94. <coughs> Psalm 94, uh, God, as you know, gave us the Psalms to teach us how to pray and uh, to teach us how to pray when um, institutions oppose the, uh, the things that God oppose, righteousness and holiness and what's good and right. And Psalm 94 was written for such a time as this, a time when unjust laws were being passed to the dishonor of God's name and the harm of his people. And uh, so uh, join me as we pray, and I'll be uh, praying through Psalm 94 together. A little bit? Okay. All right. Let's pray together. Oh, Lord God, God of vengeance, let your glorious justice shine forth. Arise, for you are the judge of all the earth. How long, O oh Lord, how long will the wicked be allowed to gloat? How long will they speak with arrogance? How long will these evil people boast? They crush your people, hurting those you claim as your own. They even kill widows and foreigners, and they murder orphans. The Lord isn't looking, they say. And besides, the God of Israel doesn't care. But we know, O oh Lord, that you do care for us. We know that you are our God and that we are your people. And so we cry out to those who do not know you, when will you finally catch on? Is God deaf? The one who made the ear, is he blind? The one who formed the eye? He is the one who punishes the nations. Won't he also punish you? He knows everything. He doesn't. He also knows what you are doing. The Lord knows your plans. He knows that they are worthless. Joyful are those you discipline, Lord. Those you teach with your law, you give them relief from troubled times until a pit is dug to capture the wicked. You will not reject your people. You will not abandon your special possession. Judgment will again be founded on justice, and those with virtuous hearts will pursue it. Our Father, this is our confidence and our hope. Great is the truth, and it shall prevail. We pray for our brother and sister. We pray that you would shower your grace upon them. We pray for righteousness in our land, and we pray that you would have mercy upon us. Who will protect us from the wicked? Who will stand up for us against evildoers? Unless the Lord had helped us, we would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. We cried out, we're slipping. But your unfailing love, O Lord, supported us. When doubts filled our mind, your comfort gave us renewed hope and cheer. Can unjust leaders claim that God is on their side? Leaders who dec whose decrees permit injustice? They gang up against the righteous and they condemn the innocent. And we know, O Lord, that the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has practice such things. We pray your mercy. We pray that your grace would abound, that you would have mercy upon us as a people for electing men and women into office who would appoint such people to positions as judges. Father, we know that this is our problem to own and that we have chosen these people and that we have received what we have deserved. And so we pray, O oh Lord, your mercy, for you are our fortress. You are the mighty rock where we hide. You will turn the sins of evil people back on them. You'll destroy them for their sins, but you will rescue and deliver all those who trust in you. And so we praise and glorify your name, and we pray that you would demonstrate that your son our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is King of kings and Lord of lords. He has risen from the dead, and he's ascended to your right hand, there to reign until all his enemies are subdued beneath his feet. We praise you that he is a great and merciful king. And so we call upon all the nations of the earth to kiss the Son, to bow before him and acknowledge that he is the rightful ruler. We pray that every knee would bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of your name. And we pray this for the justices of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. 
Amen. Amen. Amen.